Hey, hey, hey. Prosperity. I always like to remind you guys that prosperity is your divine right. Prosperity is your divine right. Prosperity is your divine right. But anyway, <laughs> we're going to be talking about some stuff right now. I was just reading this morning a verse, which I, which is actually in the, the comment right there, or the 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 description right there. But I like how do I switch this off? <laughs> I'm listening to myself. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to. Anyway, just sharing this as I carry on. Ooh, did I shake myself? I did shake myself. Anyway, yeah, normally I'm not even dressed at this time of the morning, truth be told. I'm usually in my night clothes, so I usually put a picture up and just share the screen with you. But this time I had to take my daughter out for, so she's going out with friends or something, which, yeah, which meant I had to get dressed. So I thought, you know what, instead of just putting on a screen share thing, let's actually see you guys this morning, whoever is awake or whoever is whatever, because I know a lot of you Americans are probably asleep right now. And if you're not asleep, <laughs> hey, Herman, how you doing, my honey? You South Africans are not asleep, so that is cool. <laughs> it is cool to be here with you guys this morning. And yeah, I'm just yabbering on as I share this thing. Go and share it as well. <laughs> yabbering on as I share. But I was reading this morning, or I just very quickly, because I was considering what, 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 how can I serve you guys this morning? And I got to thinking about, okay, let's look at, yeah, just thinking about the affirmation for this week, you know, be still and realize that I contain the divine, which then handily, I went to look at the verse of the day because I use this Bible app and I was looking at the verse of the day and it talked about, um, it's there, I am the vine, you are the branches, those who remain in me and I in them will produce much fruit, for apart from me, you can do nothing. And we were, I, we were talking, if you listen to part one of the How to Live a Prosperous Life, we were talking about the fact that the foundation is that connection with source. The foundation is the connection with source. Now, I, I remember as uh, ages ago, years ago, I suppose, I've, I've always read this verse and I've seen it slightly differently. I'm not sure, I can't even, I'm not sure I can even completely explain how I saw it differently, but I did <laughs> ultimately. And um, actually, let me just focus on you guys instead of trying to do any of this. Let's come here. And I got to, and so, but this time, because now I've kind of walked a long journey and realizing actually that some of the stuff that I feel are revelatory to me right now, um, or not right now, or that were revelations to me, even though I'd been spiritual since forever, but this whole concept of being one with the divine, this whole concept of containing the divine was, was something I said with words, but not something that really made sense to me. And for some of you, it's still a theory rather than a a reality. And so this affirmation that we're singing in this community this, this week, be still and realize that you contain the divine. If you really grasp that concept, if you really get that concept, you'll realize just how powerful you are when you are in connection, when you are, because you always have free will. You are always in connection with the divine, whether you are aware of it or not. But if you choose to live this whole separate thing, we see what happens in the world when people do. Another, another translation said, without that, that, um, that known deliberate connection, you are powerless. And it's true. We see in the world, people, there are, there's like two extremes of people. There's people who are powerless and like they're almost walking dead. So they're, they're just going through the motions of life. They feel out of connection. They're not aware of that connection. They're not aware of the power coursing through them. They feel as if they're, the circumstances of life are creating their life instead of realizing that actually the circumstances of life are revealing their character not the other way around, not, not, they're not just, they don't, they, they may feel like they're just responding to life, but it's not truth. Life is responding to them, it's responding to who they show themselves to be. That is how life is being created. And then there's the other side of it where people are all about competition and everything that I want. And, and there's nothing wrong with desiring stuff. I feel your desires 
point you in the direction of your purpose and all the things that you're here to create and your desires in fact show you what the divine within you would like to experience through you so there's nothing wrong with wanting stuff but when we come from a place of we have to compete with everybody else and we have to beat everybody else to the ground and we have to take from people i come from i come from nigeria where that has been the leaders of the country have been about how can i get mine instead of thinking about how can i serve my nation and at least when I was living there, I don't know, I have no idea how it is working right now. And, and that, that too is evidence of when you're living out of connection with the source inside of you. Because when you are in connection and you recognize that all of us, every single human being you can see is a branch of the very same vine, the very same. So what you do to them, you do to you. <laughs> Basically, when you really get an understanding of that, you realize this. There's no need to compete. There is, how can we serve each other? How can we be creative? How can we create more? Because we have this power inside of us. This body is a shell for the power coursing through our souls or crossing through us. And that gives us this ability to create whatever we want to create. Say hello, guys. Say hello. It'd be great to actually have this conversation with you rather than at you, <laughs> ultimately. And it's, and it's like... What if we come to that full realization that we contain the divine, that we are powerful, that we are love on this planet, and that we are one, all of us, really. Even I still have to come into more and more of an understanding of that. I want to I wanna say that I'm always loving. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not always loving. Sometimes I'm pretty hateful. <laughs> But I catch myself these days. I catch myself and try to bring myself back to, you know what? We all contain the same power. We all are one. We all can be loved. We all can change the world just by us fully recognizing our true nature. Our true nature. But anyway, let's sing this affirmation together, okay? Just join me in my reflection this morning. <sighs> I'm going to sing at you, but you guys can sing I. I'm going to sing you, okay? Be still and realize that you contain the divine. Be still and realize that you contain the divine. You are powerful, you are powerful, you are powerful, you are love, you are powerful, you are powerful. Wherefore, you are powerful, you are love. So be still, realize you contain the divine. Just take a moment, you know, after even after I finish this stream here, to you know, sit still for a second, take a few deep breaths, close your eyes. I really feel connected to all that there is. Really feel connected to all that there is. Because, you know, all of us, all of us in some ways are, are desiring an increased experience of prosperity, an increased experience of freedom, of fulfillment, of abundance in all areas of life, okay? The way we get to that is by recognizing that connection we have with all that there is. There's no need to compete. There's no need to feel like a victim. You are fully safe. You are fully supported. When you know that connection and knowing that connection, knowing that, knowing, yeah, knowing your power, it comes from practicing your power, practicing knowing it. It comes from choosing to, instead of respond, 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 react, 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 to still yourself and really feel that connection, really feel, and then practice it. Practice being powerful. Practice bringing to life some of the things that you dream about. Practice not settling for, for, oh, well, this is what my life has been to date, so this is what my life has to be forever. 
No, it doesn't. That's your choice. You are that powerful. You get to choose, okay? Because the divine isn't going to move your hand. I can't force you. Nobody can force you. I can encourage you to actually look deeper than just the surface of things, to recognize that that feeling you get inside of you, that you're born for more, is because you're born for more. So, <laughs> so you get to choose. Are you going to step into the more? Why are you going to keep telling yourself a story about how you're limited and how you, the people have expectations of you and, oh my gosh, there's this and that and the other. That's your choice. Stepping into the more is a practice. It's a decision you make. Will you make that decision or will you keep living in the less than? I'm going to sing this one more time. Before I do that, though, I want to, I do want to encourage you to come and do life with me in the Opulent Circle, Okay. Um, it is a place for you to grow spiritually, for you to grow and know what you're capable of because we're doing life together. I will remind you. I will point out specific things to you as you show up for your life. I will help you see where you may be holding yourself back, okay? And so come and do the Opulent Circle with me. Um, the link to that is rosemarynonnyknight.com forward slash Opulent Circle. <laughs> Go and have a look at it. You will know if you're called to be part of it, okay? Go and join in. I've made it incredibly accessible so that you can take the time you need to grow, to be the person that you know you're born to be. So there's no reason, I don't care where you are on the planet, this is an opportunity for you to be in an environment where you're, where you're being reminded of your true design every freaking day. I'm very, you know, I'm very prolific. So I do a lot of my life in that group where I'm, you know, doing stories, reminding people where I'm kind of, you know, and I've, I've put together a, like a deliberate life method in there, which today we're doing part 10. And so you go through that process. And so I teach you simple strategies to help you be aware of how to step into more prosperity as a spiritual person, how to step into more prosperity, okay? So yes, I exhort you to go and have a look. In fact, I'm going to type the link out here before I sing this affirmation. Go and have a look at it because you will know. Anyway, you will know even by listening to me right now whether this is right for you, okay? And I want you to respond to that intuitive nudge inside of you that says, yes, it's time for me to put myself in a new environment where I'm tapping more into the power within me. And that is what the opulent circle is there for. I do believe that it is everyone's birthright to live opulently, to live prosperously, however you define that in all areas, whether it's your health or your wealth or your relationships, that all areas of your life be working. Because as you connect to the divine, of course, that is supposed to be your right. Okay. So go and have a look at it. Go and have a look at it. It starts at an incredible rate. I don't want to mention the actual price, but I'm just like, whoa, this is just so accessible. But I feel led to do that because of Project 334K. I want to make sure that wherever you are on the planet, it is accessible to you. But I know that the price will start to go up. So I don't want to say right now what it is, but right now it's incredible. So <laughs> whenever you listen to this, it'll be incredible. So go and actually take a look at it. Join in. Don't second guess yourself. Don't doubt. It's a, it's a group where you can find your place, okay? So let's sing this and bring this to an end. Again, I'm going to sing at you. You sing as I, okay? Be still and realize that I can sing the divine. Be still and realize that I can the divine I am powerful I am powerful I am powerful I am love you Prosper, my honeys. Go forth and prosper. And share, share, share this with somebody else who needs to know this stuff, okay? Until the next time, my honeys. It's been a pleasure hanging out with you this morning. Speak soon. Bye.